quick little video here. Uh, I'm trying to fix a Toshiba laptop for somebody because I'm always fixing tons of computers because that's what I do. And uh, like most Toshiba laptops, their main problem is uh, they overheat. So this one was overheating to the point where I couldn't even uh, I couldn't even turn it up, turn it on, and boot into uh, Windows. So this is my little solution. I just got a uh, you know an 80 millimeter fan out of a computer it runs off 12 volts and I got a three cell lithium uh, lithium ion pack over here and it's uh, putting out 11.1 .1 nominal volts at 10 amps and uh, I'm temporarily using that with some wire nuts and uh, <laughs> yeah but it works and the computer's not shutting down anymore it's not overheating and everything's going good these uh, Toshibas are prone to that they've uh, always had troubles cooling and I'm going to have to open this thing up and probably uh, either replace the fan or clean out all of the dust from the copper heat sink. But the fan seems to spin, so I, I don't know why it's overheating, but it hasn't done it once since I've uh, built this little contraption with a shroud here out of duct tape. And as you can see, I'm uh, redoing it Windows right now, Windows XP. I'm going to format the drive, you know, restore all the old stuff and uh, get the thing back running for the customer. Well, the laptop's been running for uh, about two, two and a half hours, and it hasn't crashed once. So by uh, putting this little fan over here, it solved the problem. I mean, it's obviously not a permanent fix, but it's uh, letting me reformat the computer. And as you can see, I'm back into a new format of Windows XP. I already have all the drivers for the motherboard and everything I need, the Wi-Fi, sound, video, everything's ready to go. Everything's running great. And... Kind of curious to see what my battery pack draw is because uh, it's been running flawlessly, no problems. But it is a 10 amp hour pack, so I expect it to last plenty. But I'm gonna check the amps on it real quick. And that's why it's running forever. There's no draw. I'm sure the voltage on the battery is still fine. So what I'm going to have to do now, because uh, I obviously have to give this laptop back to the client, uh, I'm going to have to take the laptop apart, you know, remove the keyboard, and I'm going to have to get to the fan inside that's on the heat sink inside there. And I'm going to have to either replace it, or maybe even try to add a more powerful one. Uh, worst comes to worst, I may have to add a small external fan that I can put on a switch somewhere and uh, mount it to the side of the case that's very low profile. But I don't think we're going to have to get into that because I'm pretty sure I'll find a solution without having to do that. This is uh, an M55 S139 Toshiba laptop. It's got uh, 512 megs of RAM, 80 gigabyte hard drive. Uh, it's running a Celeron mobile processor, ATI graphics. I tried uh, when the computer was off and the battery was out of it, blowing a little uh, air into the vent port, which I'm blowing air into now with the fan. But I tried blowing compressed air into it and uh, a lot of dust came out but it was still crashing after that so there's still an issue with it overheating and I know that's the issue because you can tell you can slightly smell it and 
right when you power up the computer the fan uh, on the CPU blows extra like it's spinning faster right when you press power and you can just smell like it's burning in there it, it can't be good but we need to address the situation but another computer fixed running it's running great actually I mean it had tons of viruses on it before malware spyware it's a fresh install so it's always the way to go you know it's quick and easy it only takes a couple hours I just updated all the XP drivers just finished them all service pack 3 well, that's it for this video this is Scott signing out